नमस्कार मैं हूं निवेदिता नॉकआउट राउंड में भले ही भारत को न्यूजीलैंड टीम से हार मिली हो लेकिन आईसीसी विश्व कप 2019 में भारत की ओवरऑल परफॉर्मेंस को देखते हुए उनके फैंस उनसे निराश नहीं है बल्कि कप घर न लेकर आ पाने की जो टीस भारतीय खिलाड़ियों में है उस पर प्रशंसक उनकी हौसला अफजाई ही कर रहे हैं उनका मनोबल बढ़ाने के लिए उन्हें आगे बढ़ने की सलाह दे रहे हैं लेकिन अब जब भारतीय टीम के लिए विश्व कप टूर्नामेंट खत्म हो चुका है तो अब स्वदेश भी लौटना है लेकिन कयास लगाए जा रहे हैं कि सभी खिलाड़ी घर वापस नहीं लौटेंगे बीसीसीआई के सूत्रों के मुताबिक टिकटों के उपलब्धता के आधार पर टीम टुकड़ों में रवाना होगी कुछ भारत लौट आएंगे तो कुछ खिलाड़ी अभी अगले टूर्नामेंट के होने में करीब करीब दो हफ्ते का वक्त है तो कहीं और के लिए रवाना हो जाएंगे अब टीम को तीन अगस्त से आठ अगस्त के बीच वेस्टइंडीज के खिलाफ तीन टी मैच खेलने हैं जिसके लिए ऐसे कयास लगाए जा रहे हैं कि कप्तान विराट कोहली और तेज गेंदबाज जसप्रीत बुमराह को आराम दिया जा सकता है फिर उसके बाद आठ से चौदह अगस्त तक वनडे श्रृंखला जिसके लिए इन दोनों ही खिलाड़ियों की वापसी होना संभव है और फिर बाईस अगस्त से तीन सितम्बर तक दो टेस्ट खेलने हैं कहा तो ये भी जा रहा है कि कई खिलाड़ी 14 जुलाई तक मैनचेस्टर में ही रहेंगे और इसके बाद ही खिलाड़ी यहां से निकलेंगे इन सब के अलावा माही यानी कि टीम के पूर्व कप्तान महेंद्र सिंह धोनी के भविष्य को लेकर भी अटकलों का दौर जारी है ऐसा कहा जा रहा है कि न्यूजीलैंड के खिलाफ सेमीफाइनल उनका आखिरी अंतर्राष्ट्रीय मैच था तो क्या धोनी स्वदेश लौट अपने संन्यास का ऐलान कर सकते हैं ऐसे सवाल उठ रहे हैं हालांकि कप्तान विराट कोहली ने इन सब कयासों पर विराम लगाते हुए कह दिया है कि धोनी ने अभी तक उनसे इस बारे में किसी भी तरह की कोई बात नहीं की है बता दें कि 9 जुलाई को न्यूजीलैंड बनाम इंडिया के सेमीफाइनल मैच में बारिश की वजह से सिर्फ मैच को न्यूजीलैंड की पारी के चलते ही रोक दिया गया था फिर दस जुलाई को जब मैच को आगे बढ़ाया गया तो उसका नतीजा ये रहा की भारत मात्र अठारह रन से मैच हार गया और वर्ल्ड कप टूर्नामेंट से बाहर हो गया well um it is a little bit different uh, if i have to be totally honest um league stages when you know that you just need a victory to qualify then the team is a bit more relaxed and you know you can go out there and and try a few things but i think knockout games you need to be very precise at the same time being intense so i think that balance this is more similar to you know the, the toughest situations you'll get in test cricket where you have to be absolutely precise but your intent cannot go down so i think decision making will be crucial and um, both teams are experienced enough to have played these games new zealand was in the finals last time and they know how to play knockout games uh, they've had a wonderful world cup again so the quality side um, but yeah on the day whichever team is more brave um, in in being calculative i think uh, that team stands a better chance to win so Yeah we we understand that combination we've made it uh, to a lot of knockout games and finals um so it's it's up to both the teams to bring their A game and then whoever handles pressure better uh, is the team that's going to come out on top and we s- certainly are looking forward to doing that Virat what's your assessment of the New Zealand attack and how do you sum up the performance of the Indian attack so far Well I if if according to me I think our bowling attack has been up there with the best if not the best bowling attack in the competition I think uh, the way we have bowled in low scoring games even coming back into the match when the guys have been hit I think we have shown a lot of character um and New Zealand attack has always been a very balanced bowling attack um their pacers are very consistent um Mitchell Santner brings in a lot of control uh, with his skills in the middle over so yeah they are a team which has always been a very consistent team so we know that up against them will have to be very very disciplined uh, at the same time we'll have to play very correct cricket to you know score runs against them because they bowl in good uh, lines and lengths and um, they know exactly what they're doing so we have to be absolutely sure of what we are doing and that's the kind of challenge that team brings they put the ball in the right areas and then you know make you play good shots so um it's going to be a nice battle we've played against them a lot um, but yeah they're a, they're a quality side and a very very uh, potent bowling attack virat uh, personally you've never not been in a world cup semi so what was the mood like after the win and you've seen both results too so what is the win like uh, what is the mood like after the win in mohali and after the loss in sydney 
Very, uh, obviously very uh, contrasting. Um, the win in Mohali was um, my first World Cup and, you know, we, we make it to the finals and uh, playing at home and the, the whole atmosphere was brilliant. So getting to experience that for me as a youngster was something magnificent. 2015, I was more of an established player and, you know, not being able to get the team across the line was obviously very disappointing for all of us. But this time around, uh, because the format has been different and we understand that the tournament has been long, um, guys have put in a lot of effort day in, day out. And then to realize, okay, we have achieved the first uh, goal that we wanted to, which was to qualify for the semis. That gives you an extra boost of energy. Okay, now we can focus totally on these, you know, the remaining two games that we have in the tournament and, and try to bring our A game and take up the intensity even more. So I think those... That incentive is very important um, to realize as a team that you have done what you wanted to do as a first goal, and now you can be even more, you know, intense and energetic when you step onto the field. So it just gives you a bit more energy knowing that we are entering the last phase of the tournament, and bodies are not going to be as fresh. But then these kind of things motivate you even further to put in more energy. So we're quite happy after qualifying. Um. Uh, Virat, uh, Rohit has got 500 so far. You know, it's unusual that you haven't got any. So, are you missing the the hundred? You know, considering the consistency with which you get them, are you missing a century? No, not at all. I mean, I it's it's been a different kind of role that I've had to play in this World Cup. And um, as the captain of the team, I've been open to playing any kind of role that the team wants me to. So, it's great that you know Rohit is scoring so consistently, which means that. Coming in the later in half of the innings, you have to play a different role, which is controlling the middle overs and letting guys like Hardik and you know uh, Kedar and MS in the in, in the past few games and now Rishabh come out and express themselves. So I've understood that um, you know roles can vary a lot uh, in one day cricket uh, depending on the time you step into bat. And I've been very happy with holding one end and you know letting guys express themselves, striking at 150, 160, or 200 if the team needs. And then I know I can accelerate in the end. Personal milestones, honestly, is something that no one ever focuses on. Um, Rohit said the same thing the other day. He's only trying to do the best for the team. And then in that process, special things happen, which is something that I've always believed in in my career so far. And um, I could never imagine that I could get the number of hundreds I have. And the only focus has always been team. So I think playing a team sport, you need to be able to adapt. And I'm very, very happy doing that role. And I hope he gets two more <laughs> so that, you know, we can win two more games because it's an outstanding achievement. Um, I've never seen anyone get 500s in a World Cup, be any tournament. So um, World Cup is all the more pressure and he's just been outstanding. And as I said, he deserves all the credit. And according to me, he's at the moment uh, the top ODI player in the world. Uh, Virat, just back to the 2008 under-19 game. Um, I know you said that you didn't envisage you playing off against Kane again, but did you see him at that time as being a future superstar and how crucial is getting him out early to you guys winning the game? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's not even 2008. I remember 2007 we went to New Zealand and um, we are playing um, you know, an under-19 test match and, and he played a shot off uh, one of our fast bowlers who was quick uh, off the back foot. And I remember standing in slips and just telling guys standing at slip, I've, I've never seen anyone play a shot like that. And he was special along with a couple of more guys, which, which didn't make it surprisingly. But he was always the standout player. Uh, and you could see even when we played New Zealand in New Zealand on that under-19 tour. And then, yes, the World Cup again, he was... Is quite special for them, so we always knew he's, he's, he has the special ability to go all the way. And now he's, uh, you know, controlling the, the the tempo of the game for New Zealand every game that he plays, and he's contributing so well. And he's a lovely guy; we get along very well. So, yeah, he's he's always been, you know, the the main guy for them, along with Ross, who have performed really consistently. So, I think those two guys um, have shared the load so far, and. Um, a lot will depend on them, obviously, because they've been playing well. Uh, and according to us, from, from our team point of view, getting both of them early will be crucial because we know how strong they can be together in a partnership. So, yeah, it's, it's not to mention here, but Kane and Ross are probably their main uh, guys in the battle lineup. Vera, the, the pressure on your team uh, to perform is immense. I guess it's similar to the New Zealand All Blacks team at a World Cup. 
But um, how do you think Indian fans would feel if India lost um, at this stage in the tournament to New Zealand? Exactly the way New Zealand fans would feel if they lost. So it's it's quite natural. I mean, everyone feels disappointed when you come to a stage of the tournament like this and you don't make it through. Um, but look, yeah, the Indian team always carries a lot of pressure and expectation wherever we play. And we're quite used to that over the years, to be honest. So, yeah, we're better off. I think we're, we're better equipped to react well in these situations because uh, we know what these kind of games and our fan base and the expectations bring. So I think disappointment is equal on either side. I, I, I wouldn't agree if you say New Zealand won't be disappointed if they lose. So, yeah, but our our aim and our focus is, is obviously on winning. And um, as I said, whichever team plays better will win.